Okay, so I'm going to. I'm work. I'm working on one of my carved and painted pieces, and this is a sloth wearing a Vikings costume and doing whatever, just kind of standing there. So I'm working on this, and it's got a lot of fur to it. So I thought I'd turn on my camera and kind of explain to you guys how I carve fur. So this is my first of the inst like instructional videos that I have been thinking of doing. And I'm gonna kind of treat it a little bit like I do my live carving videos, but it's gonna be pre-recorded and you just a little bit more controlled. So first I wanna show you guys my carving tools themselves. So I have, I have many carving tools. I have a couple different sets. They all pretty much look like this. They just all have a different, you know, some of them, they're all mismatched and have different shapes and what in them. So I'll show you what, I, the tool that I use for most of my cutting is this V gouge. These are power grip carving tools. This is a V gouge. It's been sharpened and, and reshaped several different times. So if you're getting a uh, tool straight out of the box, it might not look exactly like that, but this one is, is my, is the tool that I use for pretty much everything, my little V gouge. Um, the next tool that I use frequently is a, just a U gouge. And you can see the shape of the tool there. And I'm, I mainly use this tool for clearing out large areas. Like I used it a lot in here just for flattening out large areas. So ink doesn't hit the surface there. Um, I won't be using this tool very much into this, um, in this, in this video. And then I have a smaller U gouge that I use for a similar, similar reason, just in smaller areas. Maybe I'd use it in here or in here. Um, I have many other tools, but I'm not going to be using them in this, in this video, so I'm not going to go over them with you. The V gouge is the one I'm going to be using in this video. So go ahead and grab a V gouge. And let me show you how I hold it. I, um, I hold it like this. I put it right into the little, the little area between my thumb and my index finger. And I hold it just like that. And I use my whole hand to move forward. So a lot of people are inclined to hold the tool like a pencil. And when you do that, you don't have a whole lot of force behind your tool because the end is hanging out here. You want to put the end of that into your hand so the full force of your arm is going to make a carving motion. Okay. So the basic carving technique is you, I kind of scoop, I'm doing a very exaggerated motion, but I kind of scoop out the material. So I start at a more, in, at, a, at a high angle, I level off and then scoop up. That's very exaggerated. It's when I'm working in the, in the uh, material, it's not that. Um, drastic, but just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, I exaggerated the motions a little bit. All right, so the most important thing when doing your design is the drawing. Um, if you're if you're proficient at drawing, um, this is going to come a, a little easier to you. If you're not, just keep practicing. But so I'm going to show you how I carve fur, and it's kind of just a series of little V's. So I, I do little marks that follow the direction of the hair growth. That work together to create value and texture. Just using little, little nick marks. Um, most of the marks are maker V marks. Um, so to create the value, like as I get closer to the edge of this face right here underneath the eyebrow, it's gonna be a little bit darker in there just cause that's how the, how the shading rules on this piece are gonna work in my opinion. So I take out little pieces first. So I'm gonna, and these, these are like tufts of fur. 
I follow these lines, carve them out, little V marks following the direction of the growth that I've drawn out. And now the this kind of starts to wrap around this way. So I'm gonna let my marks kind of do the same thing. I'm just gonna let my marks wrap around this way. And then it's gonna get darker as it comes here because this tuft of hair is sitting underneath this tuft of hair. So I'm gonna take out smaller little pieces of, of uh, the MDF. And then even even smaller bits. So it looks like this tuft of hair sitting under this tuft of hair. And don't don't get too uh, excited. Don't take out big chunks. Uh, when when working in a technique like this, a thousand little pieces are gonna look a lot better than five to 10 large pieces, large marks that are carved out. Cause hair is very fine, fur is very fine. And it's t thousands of little pieces working together um, to create texture and value. So you're trying to mimic that as close as possible. And some, some pieces are gonna be parallel to each other some pieces are going to intersect each other. So one piece is going to go this way, while the other piece is going to go this way. So you just kind of do what feels right. And then take out smaller bits as the hair moves towards working underneath something else. Now this is a black line that I've drawn to indicate the, the boundary between this um, piece of hair and then this, the facial hair. So I'm going to keep that black line intact. I'm never going to carve on that black line. And that's just a trick that's going to help you keep the different regions of your carving together. All right, I'm going to keep moving a little bit forward on this. This is, so we're getting down, the hair is going to get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, a little bit more going into one direction. It's going to start flowing this way a little bit more. So I'm going to start making those marks a little bit more. Um, a little bit bolder, but not huge. But as it wraps around, Same thing, I'm just going to make little V marks that kind of work in the same direction. Smaller towards the edge here underneath there, but then as I get more to the open here, I'm going to vary it a little bit more. Bigger marks that move with the direction of the carving. Now I want to say this too, this is, um, you know, how I work, how I carve hair. There are a thousand different ways to do this. And all of these videos that you watch on my channel, um, I can only tell you how I do things. I can't, I can't tell you how other artists do things and I can't tell you the best way for you. I can only give you a starting point. Um, on what works for me. I'm going to turn the piece a little bit this way so I can come at it more from this angle. Still working with the V marks. Two different points converging into one. 
varying the size of those marks as I get to this area right here, which is going to be underneath this arm. So because it's under something, it's gonna be in a little bit of a shadow. So, and I don't wanna do it too drastically, but, and that's one of the reasons I spray paint my block black so I can squint my eyes and see how the values are working together. Working on the outer edge again. Big long strokes for this first set of hairs, fur, tufts. Working my way this way as I get closer over here. And then once I get close to being underneath this arm, a little smaller, a little thinner, a little less of the wood being removed to create that illusion of value. When you're doing a, a wood carving that's generally going to be a black and white piece, you have to manipulate your carving marks to create value. The more wood you leave, um, the closer to black that area is going to be. And the less wood you leave, the more you carve away, the closer that area is going to look to white there are ways to create gray and just black and white and that's how you do it by taking out little pieces of a uh, little mix of the black all right so this area right here is going to be completely almost underneath that um that arm so I'm going to once again take out little nicks as they come up to that arm though and this is also important to maintain that line when I come back and carve this arm it's gonna help maintain it a little bit better um, but right now I want to carve up to the line but not going over the line to maintain the integrity of that line in that area. So there you go. You can kind of see where we're where we're headed now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see it a little bit better. You can see how the black and white is working together to create areas of value. All of the black, all of the, the wood has been removed in this area because that's white fur. And more wood has been removed in this, this top area because that's gonna have a highlight to it. And as I get around here, less and less is being taken away as I get to the undersides of the areas to create value. So that is how I go about carving fur um, and this is the first little instructional video that I'm putting up here so I apologize if it's a little rough and a little repetitive um, the whole piece was bugging me so I had to carve it away so so thank you for watching um, if you have any other suggestions of, of prospect parts of my process that you would like to, uh, for me to walk you through, please let me know. Um, so thank, thanks for watching. Bye.